Wow, this one's climbing the tree. Look at it. All right, look at this. There's another one that's in the drain of the road, the sewer. What on earth? Wow, it's massive. Today, I am exploring Lupini Park here in Bangkok. It's one of the many green parks there are here in Bangkok where you can escape the city vibe, the bustling traffic, the loud noise, and feel like you're away from the city, but you're still within the city. But first, before we go in, I need to hop into a 7-Eleven, get some snacks, get something to eat because the park's pretty big. I need some water also. And uh, I can show you this park. I don't know really much about it, but there's definitely a lot of creatures here I've heard and uh, some pretty stunning views. So yeah, let's hit the 7-Eleven and then check it out. Welcome to Lupini Park here in Bangkok, Thailand. This is the park, the land of the wildlife pretty much. There's all these crazy monitor water lizard things. I don't even know what you call them, but check this out. This one is freaking massive. It has to be like five feet long. The bellies are huge, so they're obviously eating the But well, what are they eating? Birds, pigeons? Catfish. Just made it over to the park here. You can see there's lots of green space. There's a lot of construction around the outside, but did stop into 7-Eleven to get something. We got a nice, cheap coffee. 7-Eleven is one of the places that you can get a very, very, very cheap coffee. Something like uh, in between 30 and 60 Thai baht. So less than two bucks or something like that. Oh, wow, how cute. I even get some Hello Kitty characters. Sanrio characters. No idea. Let's test this out. It's pretty good. It is an iced espresso, so they use espresso, some milk. He asked if I wanted it sweet. I said just a little bit, not too much. Pretty good. A little bit milkier than I like it, but not bad for cheap price. All right, now I didn't really buy any special Thai food. I just picked up two muffins from 7 Eleven. They're about 10 baht and 12 baht a piece. This one's filled with air, like it just came off of the airplane. But uh, I've had these many times, very good, and I wanted something to go along with my coffee. I didn't want to buy any rice and chicken or any of the ready hot meals, even though I've eaten a lot of those. But a muffin is the way to go with coffee. This is a blueberry one. It's filled in the middle with some blueberry, I don't know, cream or blueberry jam, something like that. Mm. It's pretty good actually. It's like uh, buying a muffin from the supermarket in the United States. There you go, you can see it right there. It is like a, a jam, but not like a, a chunky jam you would usually have for like PB&J. But the muffin's really good, really sweet, probably really unhealthy, probably a lot of calories. But yeah, hey, not bad with the coffee, right? There's some characters in this park, that's for sure. All right, before I tell you more about this park, or even show you more of this park, I'm gonna try this other muffin. This one's a chocolate. I have to go with chocolate. Chocolate is also a very good one. This one looks a little hard, like it's a little old, but you can see there's chocolate chips on it. Let's try this out. It's falling apart a little bit here. Hmm, a little bit dry on the outside. Pretty moist on the inside. So I wasn't actually really planning on even filming a video at all today. I don't even know if I'll upload this, but I just wanted to come out to the park and take some B-roll to get some some nice B-roll clips uh, to fill in for some other videos, right? And as we entered the park, we saw a lot of wildlife. 
And so I thought, ah, this could be an interesting video. Maybe, we'll see how it goes. Also, another reason why I didn't buy any of the hot, ready-to-go food from 7-Eleven is because I want to make a video especially about 7-Eleven and the convenience food that they have there. Convenient food. Food at the 7-Eleven is convenience food. Right, anyways, I would like to make a video about 7-Eleven, maybe eating there for the day or something because I have eaten at 7-Eleven pretty much almost every day. The food's pretty good. It's very cheap and it beats having to go to the supermarket and cook food at home. So you just buy something, stick it in the microwave, and you're good to go. It's a good deal. We are here walking around the lake. I think it's a lake. It looks big enough to be a lake. Maybe it's a pond, but the water's pretty nasty. It's like Hulk green. Definitely don't want to touch it, who knows what will happen. There's all sorts of creatures in there. Big catfish, monitor lizards, some other weird fish that look like they could be on river monsters. But it's pretty nice. You got the, the buildings in the background, the skyline. There's these little duck boats you can ride, pedal boats, kayaks. Good place to come with your family. Maybe take a date or your mother-in-law, something like that, you know. It's definitely a nice vibe here, nice ambience. It's very cool because it's shaded, it's out of the sun and uh, there's plenty of things to do. A lot of exercise I see people doing. There's uh, plenty of space to ride a bike, to run, rollerblade, skateboard, you name it. But yeah, I don't know too much, so let's keep walking around, let's explore this place and show you more of it. Especially those monitor lizards because they are some crazy looking creatures. So the other thing about this park is there are lots and lots of stray cats and they don't appear to be too friendly. They are pretty cute, nonetheless. Hey, look, it looks like a little tiger. Hello, cat. You sleeping? Long day in the park, huh? Another one right there. So look at these cool trees. It's just a, a tree, a regular tree. And then they attach these mini plants to it. I don't know what kind of plant this is, but it gives the tree a different look. A lizard on the loose. All right guys, check it out. This is what the monitor lizard looks like. This one's actually relatively small. It's probably a juvenile, but they are some interesting looking creatures with that yellow pattern, the big tongue, the long claws. Look okay, at there it goes, climbing up. I have no idea where it's going because over there is a big busy intersection and the water is that way so who knows maybe it's lost but yeah look how long its tail is the tail is actually longer than its body almost one and a half times its body but that tongue is so long it literally looks like something from a different era is that you Garfield? Garfield! is that you Garfield? So there's lots and lots of stray cats here, like I was saying earlier. They're really beefy. They look strong. They look mangy. Uh, they don't look very clean at all. But uh, yeah, there are plenty of them. Plenty of them in different colors. Orange, like this guy, just cleaning himself. I want to try to pet it, but last time I tried to pet a, a cat here in Bangkok, I got clawed at, so it's not happening. All right, we got some more turtles. We got another. Turtle turtles! But look what's next to it. Dang, that is a fatty. Must have just ate a duck or something, or maybe a cat. Whoa, what's that one doing? It's got its back legs out like it's ready to fly. Fly, turtle, fly! The collision. Swan boat and monitor lizard. It literally looks like an alligator, or maybe a crocodile, or maybe a snake. What up, dude? What's your name? My name's Matt. Nice to meet you. I don't disturb you. Carry on. It's snoozing. Oh wow, this one's even fatter, I think. Damn, what are these things eating? Wow, very cool. They climb trees, huh? Wow, this one's climbing the tree. Look at it. Wow, 
that's amazing. Wow, look at this one. This one's on the move. It's going higher. Wow, it's amazing. Look at it move. I wonder if it's difficult to get down. Wow, so seeing how this one's climbing the tree, I wonder how many more are in the trees around here that we just kind of walked under. A little bit scary thinking about it. All right, look at this. There's another one that's in the drain of the road, the sewer. What on earth? Is it alive? Like, is it trying to get back to the water? I'm so confused. It really looks stuck. Oh my God. Look, there's like old spikes. I don't know how it's getting through there for that. It definitely, does not seem right. So earlier I said that there's some catfishes in this water and here they are right here. I think they're more of like an albino. Check it out. You can see its body right there. You know it's a catfish because there's these long whiskers coming out the front but they don't have really any um, pectoral fins I think it's called. The fins on the side. They're very very cool creatures and I would love to try to catch one but obviously you can't fish here so that ain't gonna happen. All right, that's gonna be it for the little impromptu video from Lupini Park here. Didn't intend to film, just wanted to get some B-roll. And then it seemed like a good idea to make a kind of spontaneous video. It's definitely a really cool park. There's lots of wildlife here, lots of things you can do. You could spend a few hours here, bring some food, chill out, um, or even hit some of the food stalls that are on the outside as long as they're open when you come. I think they close at a certain time, but definitely, recommend checking out this place here in Bangkok especially to get out of the chaos for a few hours into some nature it's a really really cool place and man those monitor lizards are something else from the ones just basking on the banks to sitting in the water to even diving down into the, the sewer system man I wouldn't want to find myself in a fight with one of those definitely not but all right uh, maybe I catch you in this video somewhere else if not I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, quick update here. We've been walking for about 10 minutes away from the park down this road where there's a canal. The canal kind of feeds into the lake over there. And here's another one. It's actually the fifth one that we've seen walking down this road. And it appears that they're all swimming in the same direction. So maybe during the day, they come out to these little rivers to feed on some of the fish. And then in the evening, they head back into where they're used to. Oh, there's another one down here I can see. That would be number six. Actually, this one's heading a different direction. Wow. Whoa, it's massive. Wow. Amazing. Well, we just stopped for some quick food, had a beer, had some nacho cheese nachos. It's about 130 baht for the nacho, 70 baht for the beer. Very good price. Nice little atmosphere. It was a place called Upventures After Work Market 2023. Nice atmosphere. They had some local music, they were singing in Thai and English. Good little pit stop, now it's time to head home and get the real meal. I won't bore you anymore tonight with the B-roll cinematic shots of going back home. That's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the little walkthrough of Lupini Park and all the wild creatures that live there. Definitely check it out, like I've already said. And I'll see you in the next video soon from Bangkok, Thailand.